Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing really well. I thought I would pick up my camera today because we are getting back into it. I'm getting back into some sort of routine. I got back from holiday a couple of days ago. As I mentioned in my previous video, I went to Marbella with my dad and my brother, which was really nice. It was obviously Father's Day and it was his birthday, so it was really nice to spend some quality time together. We were only there for four days, so it was a very last minute quick flying visit so I feel like I've been a bit all over the place because obviously we got back from Dubai a month ago and then it was straight to Marbella which was last minute I'm so obviously so grateful to go on all these lovely holidays but I feel like I'm definitely ready to have some sort of structure and routine and some nice time at home getting back to it so Today I thought I'd pick up my camera and bring you along with me because I need to do a massive food shop, I need to do a and m trip because my cleaning caddy and all the toiletries and bits and bobs like that are running low so we need a good restock and I'm doing the food shop on my own, I'm being a brave girl and tackling it because usually me and Sam always do it together but he's at work today and tomorrow and there's literally nothing in so unless I go to the shops by myself I'm not going to have anything to eat which is just not going to go down well, it's a really great cloudy autumny day today though i'm not gonna lie it literally feels like we're in the middle of october it's hammering it down but i've actually managed to drag myself up to the gym this morning it's now about half 10 i think so i'm gonna get sorted i've actually put on a little bit of makeup today and i've tried something different with my hair i've done like a bit of a a bit of a bouncy blow dry or my attempt at a bouncy blow dry anyway and i'm quite liking it i posted a tiktok the other day and I had like straight-ish hair and I had a few comments like oh my god your hair like your straight hair because I noticed I'm usually in any videos and stuff I'm usually got my curly hair so I feel like I'm mixing it up a bit I feel like I'm quite liking it I feel like I need a better barrel brush to get like a real bouncy look but yeah fresh hair wash day bit of makeup on got dressed ready to get my ass back into gear and get into some routine and we're gonna go and obviously do a food shop i'll show you what i pick up and yeah i just feel i love going on holiday i'm obviously so grateful to go on these lovely holidays but i'm always ready to come home and get back into routine and add a bit of structure to my life again so that is what we are doing today i actually spent the morning with all of the lamps on around the house literally autumn vibes i saw on instagram yesterday the range posting that they are bringing the autumn stock into some of their shops and i am a diehard autumn girl always have been always will be love the cozy vibes but even for me i think that is slightly premature but today it's just got me in those autumn feels so went around the house literally turned on all the lamps and it's still hammering it down pouring down with rain so i don't know if hair wash day was a good idea today but this is the current situation in the fridge so we've got some celery and some broccoli sam's cottage cheese half pack of cheddar and then just the sauces so we definitely need to restock this fridge up i'm actually really getting into my smoothies i know i mentioned in one of my previous videos or a couple of videos back um, I showed you my juicer and a recipe that I was using for my juice but I'm going to be totally honest it's not for me and I do feel slightly gutted about it because I was so excited to start that little hype get some goodness in me and it just it's just not me and it was literally torturous which I know is going to sound pathetic but trying to down a glass of that juice was actually stressful for me like I'd be stood there for an hour and a half trying to down a glass of juice so I feel like I've come to the t to the realisation that it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it for me. So I've actually been enjoying smoothies with like bananas and stuff like that in. And I've also mentioned, I think in my previous video, that chocolate um, powder that I've been loving. And that's just working better for me. So we're going down the smoothie route. So I'm going to pick up some fruit and stuff today to put in my smoothie. I need to ask Sam to send me a little list of what he wants because as I say, he's usually with me when I do the food shop. So I'm gonna have to try and remember everything, which is always a bit of a task for me. I'm not gonna lie, I am the most forgetful person when it comes to going to the shops. So I'm gonna get him to send me the list of the stuff he needs. And I'm gonna get my massive IKEA bag. This was actually Sam's idea. I've had a couple of um, comments on this on my TikTok, but when you are doing your food shop, take an Ikea bag with you because then you don't have to like pack it in loads of different bags. We just fill 
this one bag up and it's just so much easier to be fair though i do have sand with me to lift it this is going to be quite a mission trying to lift this when it's full on my own but we will cross that bridge when it comes to it <laughs> Okay, this is my problem when I leave my hair straight. I feel like it goes super frizzy and just dead on the ends. It just looks so flat and dead, but I've just ventured out into the rain, so I don't think that's helped. Just popped into B&M and got some cleaning bits. Not gonna lie, I was in the mood to spend money. You know, when you're just in the mood to go into B&M and spend some money and it didn't, it didn't deliver the goods. I feel like there was a really good spell with B&M, especially the B&Ms near me, where every week I was going in, every week, that makes me sound like such a loser, but it was pretty much every week. Um, I was going in and there was so like much newness there, like new homeware, new cups, new glasses, new mugs, new like candles, bits and bobs like that. And I feel like it's a bit of a dry, it's a bit of a drought, a bit of a drought in B&M. So a bit of a disappointing trip, just got the boring cleaning toiletry cupboardy bits that I usually get from B&M. But now I'm going to nip into Lidl, Brave Lidl. I was going to be cheeky and pick up a Mac at ears for lunch because I'm absolutely starving and... It's not a good idea to do a food shop when you're starving. That's what my mum's always told me and I completely agree with that. Now I'm an adult and I do my own food shops because you end up putting in things in the trolley that you wouldn't normally, like even in B&M then. I nearly picked up Pop-Tarts. I nearly put some fudge, chocolate fudge Pop-Tarts in the basket, but I actually restrained myself. But that's the type of thing you do when you're starving and you're doing a food shop. So I'm gonna try and stick to the plan, stick to the list and not pick up too many naughty bits in Lidl. But yeah, we're gonna go and brave the food shop now. Right, this is the current situation. So I can't lift this idea bag across the floor. So that was me saying that it's such a good idea to take my here bag. If you're on your own, definitely don't because I can't lift this up without Sam's help. So I'm just gonna shuffle this. Look at me, actually look at me. I try and do one thing on my own and this is how we end up. I managed to get everything, I think. So I thought I'd do a little haul, if anyone's interested, a little food shop haul. I usually do this over my TikTok, but I thought while we're here today, I would show you what I got. And I actually got a few little different bits today that I haven't seen. Sorry, I'm just trying to adjust you. There we go. Um, I found a couple of bits today that I haven't seen in Lidl before, so I picked them up. Um, so, quite a boring haul, but this is just our weekly food shop this week. So, I'm just gonna go through, there's not gonna be any orders for this, I'm just gonna get it out of the bag as I go. So I got some mini tortilla wraps. I don't normally get the mini ones, but I feel like sometimes when I get wraps, they're really bready. Like if I put something in them and then fold them up, they're really bready. So I thought I'd try the mini ones. Got a huge bumper pack of chicken. We get this every single week from Middle. Definitely by far the best value for the most amount of chicken. I'm gonna clear this stuff out because that's probably rotten by now and then a pack of chicken mints I've got to be totally honest I'm not a huge fan of this but Sam loves it it's like a pasta like a spaghetti bolognese but with chicken instead of beef and then beef mints we either have like um enchilada burrito type things or a spaghetti bolognese or we've been loving burgers at the moment like burger meatballs that kind of thing and um, we actually tried out the burger um tortilla wrap things there was a tiktok trend going around i don't know if you've seen it or not but they looked amazing and they tasted unreal so we might do something like that um chicken sausages again i get these most weeks these are handy for lunch i just throw them in the air fryer for 15 minutes and i have them with like in a wrap or with some rice or some pasta um i don't know if that's okay. um what next so I got, um, I'm trying to do this in some sort of order here, but it's not really working out. Got two packs of, I just spat everywhere. Sorry about that if you saw that. Two packs of bananas because me and Sam both have bananas either in smoothies or for breakfast and stuff like that. Sam often has them before he goes to the gym as well. Pack of olives. I love, love, love these olives. I feel like 
They taste very similar to the Nando's olives, which are the best olives ever. I then picked up this, which I haven't seen in there. Oh, two ribeye steaks as well. I then picked up this because I've never seen it before and I thought Sam would really like it. We usually get the 50% less fat cheddar that um, Lidl do. I also picked one of those up just in case we don't like this one um, and we use quite a lot of cheese in the week so I picked one of those as well. But this is like a high protein cheese. It says 70% less fat, 40% fewer calories and high protein and it looks quite nice. I find with this reduced fat cheddar from Lidl, it doesn't really melt very nicely, like it doesn't really have those cheese vibes. So I'm hoping this will be good, lactose free, give that a go. Um, I think it's actually cheaper than this one as well. So yeah, two packs of cheese. I also got a halloumi because I'm really into halloumi at the moment. I love it as like a side or in like a wrap or something like that. I feel like I'm out of breath. Oh my God. Also, this wasn't part of the plan, but sorry, the light is really reflecting here. I might have to move you before I get into what I'm about to show you. Is that better? I feel like that's slightly better. Um, yeah, we were meant to be sticking to a healthy-ish shopping list. As I mentioned before we went in, saw these and that went out the window because I could not resist. Brookie Bites. I'm going to try one now because my mouth is watering just like these. Cookie and brownie, basically, in little mini, in little mini bites. Let's try it and see what they're like. Oh, I love these little mini brownies. They are the best. All right, let's give one a go. Mmm. Mmm. That wasn't what I was expecting. It's more like shortbread rather than cookie. I also have been craving cereal the past few nights. Like, after dinner, I still feel quite hungry and I've been craving cereal. So, picked up some... These are like Wheatos dupes, aren't they? I used to live on Wheatos when I was little. My mum would always give us them before school. Um... Not that I really look into this too much, but when I was looking at the sugar and all the boxes of cereals there, this was actually the best one. It's not actually that bad. So I thought with my oat milk, I could have that in the evening if I fancy a little snack. Again, wasn't really part of the plan, but I've been craving cereal. I feel like nighttime cereal just, it just hits differently. It's just the best. Saw these as well and picked these up. Um, I don't know what they're like. It says protein flapjack. There's nine grams of protein in here and a source of fiber apparently. So I thought if I'm fancying some chocolate, I could grab one of these. I am trying to up my protein a little bit because I'm going to the gym and stuff like that. And I feel like in the past, I've really lacked in protein in my diet. So I'm trying here and there to add some more in. Tuna, I will not go near this stuff, but Sam has it for his lunches. A lot of the time so if he honestly if he has opened tuna in, around the sink area i can literally smell it it will just ruin my day i absolutely hate tuna um potatoes i got every week i get these potatoes out of Rooster because i like to slice them put them in the air fryer i go on about them all the time my little crispy potatoes that i like to do but they are just so good quick and easy and there's no like added chemicals or additives and stuff like that and then i also picked up these little miniature potatoes look how cute they are i thought i could like drizzle these in some olive oil and salt and pepper and throw them in whole into the air fryer saves a bit of time rather than slicing them all up um got a pack of onions because i like to just add this into like um pastas and stuff like that chuck those down there um two garlic bread Baguettes. I like to just keep these in the freezer. They're just handy to have like on the weekend if we're having pasta or something. I just love a bit of garlic bread basically. Um, got some stir fry sauces. These stir fry sauces from Lidl are actually really good. We always get the black bean and the chow mein and then mix them together and it's just the best combo. Then again something I love, these little Maggie um, like seasoned bags. You get like the clear bag up here. You pour the chicken 
the powder and a bit of oil in roast it in the bag and it comes out so juicy and tasty i feel like if i don't cook chicken breasts that way i don't really like them i find them really dry and like flavorless two packs of eggs for sam um then another classic from sam he eats cottage cheese every day for the protein i always get well, I used to always get comments about how much cottage cheese we buy each week because the fridge is normally full of it. So it's really funny, the past few times I've done like a food shop haul on TikTok, I always give a little disclaimer about Sam's cottage cheese. And I've had a couple of comments that are so funny about just making reference to Sam's cottage cheese, which makes me laugh. So I've got three of those because he's already got some in the fridge, but he will literally eat a whole tub of this every day with his lunch. So he's nice and stocked up. Um, also got a, um, a, oh god, that was close. I got a garlic and herb soft cheese because we love adding this into, like, pasta sauces. It's really good. Um, what else is in the bag? Ice for my coffees. That just goes up. People always tell me that I need to buy like an ice cube tray and stuff like that. I just don't feel like the ice is the same. I know that sounds really stupid and ridiculous, but I love bags of ice. I feel like the cubes are just perfect. I feel like I'm outing myself here for the reason that I am. Anyway, I got some rice pouches, basmati and Mexican rice. These are so handy as like a quick lunch to throw in the microwave or as like a side for dinner. Um... Two passatas with pasta sauces. I feel like you can really tell how much pasta we eat in this talk. Um, a bag of con, don't know how to pronounce that, but shell pasta. And then some shower gel. Sam's really loving this brand from Lidl. I don't know if it's by Lidl, um, but it's like a natural range and they do like shampoo and conditioner as well. Um, I just picked up an unsweetened almond milk to have with my free soul protein shake. I'll keep that in the fridge actually. Um, and then a bottle of Coke Zero and I think that's everything that I picked up. I'm absolutely starving, I'm not going to lie. So I think I'm going to make myself some lunch. I think I'm going to try one of those flapjacks as well. Should we try one together? Let's taste test the track protein. I know this probably isn't any better for you than eating a Snickers or something like that, but it was mainly the protein intake that caught my eye. I think it's like dark chocolate flapjack. Just as I was about to give you the verdict on the flapjack, my memory card ran out, so I just had to delete some clips quickly, but it was pretty good. I don't think I'd buy them again. They're just pretty standard, but it's a good way of killing the um, sweet cravings. I had a comment last night I'm doing it now, hang on. I had a comment last night on my last video saying that someone had to mute my video when I was slurping on a milkshake because I was obviously being really noisy and vocal about it. So apologies if that just itched you out then with me eating. I feel like I need to put a bit of a disclaimer before I start munching down on stuff. But I'd rate these probably like a six out of 10. Not great, I'm not gonna lie, but for nine grams of protein, that's not bad just give myself a little coke in my latest glass obsession which is from home bargains how cute is that i think it's like one pound or something like that it's in their new like summer garden range and i picked two of these up because i'm just obsessed with them i literally have every single drink in them my coffees my smoothies my protein shakes i just absolutely love them there's something about ribbed glass that just i'm obsessed with so, having a little Coke Zero break. And I thought I'd show you what I picked up in B&M. I said this in the car earlier. Um, it's not a very exciting B&M haul. I was in the mood. I was in the money mood. The B&M money mood when you want to go into B&M and fill up a trolley and just get some cute little bits. But they just didn't, didn't provide those goods today. So, we did just stick with what I needed, which was probably a good thing, to be totally honest. Um, so I thought I'd show you. This is probably going to be really boring, but I thought we could just share, we share things here. And 
I love a B&M haul. Even if it is boring stuff, I love watching people's B&M hauls. Um, but anyway, the first thing I needed to, needed to grab was a kitchen surface cleaner. I really love this Soflora spray. I feel like it is one of the very few kitchen sprays that I've tried that actually shifts any like stains and grease on our hob and our sides and stuff like that. I've never actually had it in this fragrance before though, but it smells unreal. Sam just came home from lunch, which was really nice. We get to have lunch breaks together sometimes when he's in the office. And I obviously made him sniff my new Soflora. And he said it's not like palm violets, but I'm not getting those vibes. I'm getting like fresh floral summer vibes. So I really, really love that one. It was between that and another floral one that they had, but we went with that. That's Midnight Blooms, that scent. And then we need some hand soap. Again, obviously stood there for 10 minutes sniffing all the different flavours or fragrances. What do you call it? Scents? Flavours? I don't know. And this one, so tropical and summery. It kind of is giving tropical Capri Sun. I'm not going to lie. It's this fragrance. What is it? You're having a giraffe. It's apricot and jungle papaya. Love these. I do like to pick up the pouches like the refillable pouches because in all of our bathrooms in the house we have the ceramic like soap pumps so it feels a bit of a waste of plastic buying these ones but being i never seem to have them i usually get them from home bargains so i just grabbed one of those to top our pumps up these are a must have in my cleaning caddy i absolutely love them they're the eucalyptus fresh fizz and fresh little toilet bowl tablet type things these are the only things that clean our toilet this discussion has just got on to cleaning toilets which is wild but um we have really hard water here so i feel like these are the only things that actually give it a good deep clean and they smell incredible i absolutely love those I also treated us to some new sponges because I absolutely love these ones. They're like the minky dupe. You get two, you get like a bathroom one, or this is what I use them for anyway. Yeah, that's what they're called as well. So I use this one in the kitchen and I use this one in the bathroom and they've got like two different sides. So you get like a scrubby side um, and then like a stringy side. I don't know, but these are really good. They're only three pounds for two as well whereas the minky ones can be like four pounds for one sponge and they get so grotty and skanky really quickly so i just get these multi-packs um they do the job then toilet gel this is the only toilet gel i will use it smells incredible it makes the whole bathroom smell beautiful it's like neon pink but it smells amazing then obviously some oh i've just realized these aren't dishmatic. I hope they fit onto our dishmatic head. They're actually elbow grease. That's annoying, but yeah, the little refill heads. We absolutely love a dishmatic. Sam won't do the washing up unless he's got a dishmatic head. Um, squares bars. I absolutely love these squares bars. Sam started having them before he goes to the gym as like a little pre workout snack. And not gonna lie, I have been eating them nearly every single day because I absolutely love these. My mum used to put them in my pack lunch and they are just incredible, absolutely love them. Sam needed some ketchup, so the other day I bought a little mini ketchup, like the normal size ketchup in Waitrose for him, like the Waitrose own brand, it was like a small bottle about that big and he got through it in five days. So the only ketchup really that we can have in this house is this one. And I won't even touch ketchup. I don't like it at all. So it is literally just him that goes through literally gallons of ketchup. I found this as well. So I'm really like picky when it comes to sauces. Don't like mayonnaise. Don't like ketchup. Um, so when I saw this, it sounded like a bit of me. It's the Mexican style hot chili sauce. I haven't seen this before. It's Heinz. Um, and it's like got like jalapenos and stuff like that in so i'm really excited to try that sounds definitely like a bit of me and then i just got some seasoning pouches a taco seasoning mix and i absolutely love these i think i picked one of these up in lidl i did say um that we love these always throw chicken breasts in here and like batch cook them because they just taste so much better when you cook them in these sachets um and then just ibuprofen and toothpaste 
So when I said that was a boring haul, I really was not lying. Stopped up on the ibuprofen because Sam has got his um, diamond white retainers now. Um, if you've seen it on TikTok, um, I worked with him to do like a little collab um, for Sam's teeth, which is really exciting, but he is really, really struggling with the pain, um, like all in his jaw and it's going up to his head. So he's got like really bad migraines um, and stuff like that, which isn't ideal, but I keep reminding him that it will be worth it. So he stocked up on the ibuprofen um, and he's gone back to work, bless him. So I'm gonna chill for a bit now. I've got a few bits of work to do. I'm still sort of like on catch up from holiday, from this holiday and Dubai. I feel like I was only just catching up um, from my last holiday, going away and coming back. When it's only you working on your stuff, you don't have anyone to cover for you and stuff like that, you soon get far behind. So I have got a lot to catch up on. Um, but super blessed and super grateful to have had two amazing holidays within such a short amount of time. Um, but it definitely is like graft time now. I'll get back to it, get into a routine, catch up with my work. And yeah, I feel nice and refreshed and ready to go. So I'm going to sit with my laptop for a couple of hours. Um, I've got a few bits to do for my clients. I need to um, design some content and edit some videos and stuff like that and then I think tonight I'm going to make a pasta bake because that is Sam's favourite and as I just said he's feeling a bit under the weather and a bit poorly and he's had to go back to work bless him um, so I'm going to make him his favourite dinner I'm going to be a good GF and I think I'm going to make like a chicken pasta bake I might use one of these sachets I've got the Italian herb ones so I might cook the chicken in the pouch and then might use all the juice and the soft cheese, the garlic herb soft cheese, um, and do like a little cheesy pasta bake with some garlic bread. I think that'll probably cheer him up a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna catch up with some work and then I will come back later and we can maybe make dinner together. I've just been storm watching from the kitchen and I am feeling the cozy vibes. It's safe to say I'm gonna grab myself a little brookie because I'm absolutely starving. I'm gonna make us dinner now. So I'm going to make a start on our dinner tonight. I'm in the cosy vibe, so I'm going to make a nice big cosy pasta bake for dinner. I'm going to use this Italian herbs seasoning pouch that I showed you earlier that I picked up from either B&M or Lidl. They both sell these. And if you've never used them before, honestly, you need to get to know. They are the best things ever. It literally transforms chicken breasts. So I know I keep going on about these pouches today, but if you struggle eating like dry chicken breasts, this just adds so much juice and flavour. It's so, so good. And it's really nice if you're making the pasta because all the juice comes off the chicken. And I usually stir that into... Oh, my God, Lola. We still have Lola, obviously. She's just seen this. It's so funny. There's like a little squirrel that runs along the top of our fence. And every single time without fail, if she sees that squirrel, she's out there getting it. Lesser. But yeah, anyway, these seasoning pouches come with this little roasting bag. It's like a clear roasting bag. And I usually throw like about four or five chicken breasts in here. And then obviously we'll use two for dinner. And I'll put the rest in the fridge and like a Tupperware to use for lunches. So I'm just going to unravel this. It's so quick and easy. Honestly, you just chuck it in. And then in like 40 minutes it's ready. in the oven and ready to go that will be about 40 minutes so i'm just going to chop up some onion i'm also going to put in the pasta bake sauce some of the um garlic and herb soft cheese this makes such a nice creamy cheesy sauce if you're making a pasta bake it literally just like takes it to the next level it's so good so i'm just going to dice up an onion now
I am the most unesthetic person when it comes to cook with me and stuff like that. I feel like it never really goes to plan. It's not going to be finished in this video because the chicken is going to take 45 minutes. Sam's going to come home, we're going to quickly walk it, and then I'll just throw it together. But I'm just going to prep what I can now. So I'm literally just frying off those diced onions in the pan with some olive oil and then this is our little selection of ingredients tonight. So I'm just going to make the sauce literally from the diced onions, some chicken seasoning, some balsamic glaze, some Italian seasoning. You're going to have to excuse my nail that's snapped off by the way. These are my own nails which I'm really impressed and proud with. but. This one snapped on holiday, so it's ruining the vibe. Um, but yeah, some Italian seasoning, that's the pasta obviously, and then I'm gonna put in the garlic and herb soft cheese, some of the protein cheese that I picked up, obviously on top of the bake, and then just some passata to run through it, and then that will be it. And because I've cooked the um, chicken in one of those Maggie bags, it like is so full of flavor, and it's got so much juice and stuff in it. So that's like the base of the sauce anyway. But yeah. Look, a bit of a half assed cook with me because you're not going to get to see the, the finished product. Maybe just burn my onions as well. But yeah, thank you so much as always for being here and for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you're not subscribed already, make sure that you are. Also, let me know in the comments if you have made it to here what you'd like to see in my videos, what you'd like to see next time. I've said this before, but. Um, turn that off a lot of my content is very samey because my life is very samey I work from home I do very similar things every day day in day out and when I'm on holiday and when me and Sam are doing stuff together I just don't feel like whacking out the camera yet and as well as me having complete stage fright I'm gonna be totally honest even in front of Sam um I just feel like that is my time off work and when you're doing things like this as part of your job it is very consuming which I know sounds really moany and it doesn't mean to come across that way at all but like you you feel like sometimes you just don't get a break so me at the moment my breaks are when I go on holiday when I'm with my family and my friends I just don't want to film I just want to take those times out so the time that we spend together is my day in day out weekday kind of thing um and I hope that doesn't get boring but let me know in the comments what you'd like to see um because I don't want to, I don't want to just be doing the same stuff all the time, um, and I don't want to bore anyone who is watching. So yeah, any feedback and your honest thoughts would be really, really appreciated. But yeah, thank you so much as always for watching this video, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.